What's up everybody, Ryan Blue back again with another video for you guys. Today we're gonna be doing a quick guitar lesson of Forget Me Nots by Patrice Russian. Um, it's a really, really dope, heavily bass um, driven song. What's cool about this song is um, I did it on a guitar and the first four strings of the guitar is different octaves of a four string bass. So you really can't beat it. Um, we're gonna just jump right in uh, because it is a little bit more difficult on the actual guitar considering that the strings are closer together, but it's still possible. I'm gonna have the link in the description below to show you guys my take on it on the guitar and you'll understand a little bit more what I'm talking about. But hey, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're just gonna go one time around so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take my time with it as you guys should while learning it. So here we go. All right, so I'm gonna to try to break this down into sections. Um, so this is how I do it. There's no specific way that you should really use your, um, you know, your fingers. But for me, I'll just tell you guys exactly how I do it. Um, what's more convenient for me, considering I'm playing it on the guitar versus the bass. So uh, what I would do, the first one is. Uh, your index finger and you're hammering on to the sixth string second fret. So you have that. And what you're gonna do from there is use your ring finger on the uh, fourth string on the uh, fourth fret. So what we have already is And my index finger, I'm sorry, my thumb and my index finger, um, I'm using it as a, like a thump and a pluck and a slap. So it's like a. Like that. So. What we have already is, and then what I do is since my ring finger's already on the, the uh, octave of that first note, so octave, and it's closer to the note that I wanna get to next, but it's gonna be on the fifth string, fifth fret. So we have, you see that, so. So that's the first section of this video uh, is. It's a little bit more difficult than what you may expect it to be, but as you take it step by step, slowing the video down or playing it as many times as you need to, it becomes a lot easier. Okay, so the second part of this section is uh, but since your finger is already gonna be on the fifth fret of the fifth string, so what I would do is slide it to the seventh fret. Uh, so this is what we have all together when we slide it to the seventh. Or you can hammer it. So, but for me, I just slide it, um, especially in my video. Uh, I just slide it, I find it a little bit more easier to slide versus, and then have to bring it back up there. Um, I just know that my fingers are already, you know, at least on the string and I just slide it back up. So anyway, this is what we have so far. And 
Now from there, what you would do is bring it back up to the, again, when I was saying with the slide, you slide it up, bring it up to the uh, fourth fret, still on the fifth string. Then you hammer on the fourth string, second fret to the fourth fret. So, so that's pretty much the first section of the uh, progression. So this is what we have all together so far. Cause there's only really um, one unique thing different from each section of uh, this progression. So here we go. This is what we have all together so far. Ah, sorry, hold on. So the only difference that you would do in the second part of this uh, progression is you would do everything the same and I'll, I'll show you guys where it gets a little tricky. So. So that I'm gonna break down that specific part. So, uh, So from when you when you're back to before you slide up again to that seventh fret of the fifth uh, the, on the fifth string, you would go you would use your index finger and put that on the fourth fret of the fourth string and and hammer on to the uh, sixth fret. So it's and what I do is instead of like strumming it. I give it more of a pluck to give it a little bit more of that bassier type sound that, that, uh, uh, and then, so then my ring finger is back on that fourth fret of the fifth string. And then you use that, uh, your, you know, you hammer on again. That's that uh, fourth fret, fourth string, second fret, and then hammer on to the uh, fourth fret. So it's so this is what we have all together. And that's pretty much the whole song. It repeats. Um, it does uh, go into a little bit more of a bassier, like, you know, just drops more back into the background as uh, on certain parts of the song. But the main riff, especially on TikTok that I'm hearing is before uh, Patrice even gets on the song. And it's that heavy bass line that we just went over. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. More videos coming soon. Until next time, peace.